Cuban music, yes, is a very important ingredient into the Latin music. Again, if you want to play jazz, you need to get back in the history of New Orleans. If you're going to play classical music or valses like Strauss used to play in Austria, you need to know what happened in Austria back in the time. Christopher Columbus arrived to America, blah, 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 to the Bahamas, 1492, then to Cuba. But by the time there already exists on the island Aboriginal groups with his way of life was not so primitive, but farmer, artisans, the living communities called bates. Areito is a kind of round dance in which they dance and sang with drums, shakers, and handmade maracas. Okay? Today, we still have some, uh, some kind of instrument that you can see, you know, in the museums, like the Tambor Mayowacan, worldwide known maracas. This is the maracas taina, this is authentic ones. The colonizers need more workers. What they talk? Slaves, you know. And began to import black uh, slaves from Africa who brought with them their songs, their rhythms, their dances. To understand this in the most musical terms, we can feel that, for example, in a vast majority, their rhythms and chants came six, eight ternary bars, and they were forced to impose the su four, like the Spaniard used to do. The mythical sonority of the Cuban music began and began to be forged with his Afro-Hispanic elements. What happened with the Habanera? The Habanera was the way how the Cuban contradanza was now outside of Cuba and was used by the Spanish, they call Habanera. So that is the Cinquillo Cubano. Because after 20 years of your political songs, then you have this band playing Afrobeats, jazz, funky, and ceremonial, religious ceremonial music. Everything changed. Everything was again like a, the renaissance of the Cuban music. This is actually the same bass pattern used to play the salsa. This is actually the same pattern used today to play the flamenco rumba, the Catalonian rumba. If you need to go to a bembe, bembe is a party, Afro-Cuban party in Havana, you will see that they are playing say say but you will feel somewhere with a cowbell if you as a bass are a bass player and you play in the fourth you will be alright even with both claves and that's why the bass is so important on Cuban music keeping the four every time and you will see this is the pattern of the cha 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 okay you see here the sencerro is the the cowbell Uh, actually, it's both historical and contemporary, so that I can keep track of okay, which is which is the son clave, clave, which one, which one's the rumba clave, which, etc. And then like, and then in, I think in Brazil, right, they start with the three first and then the two. Is that correct? It's like correct, yeah. The Cubans start to start start to using the two first after the three. Oh, that's Latino. Yeah, could be, but that's not even close. You understand? It's fine. And some of them, they are more clever. They say, okay, let me take the edge of DC 40s. Let me play this. If you go knowledge of how to still sound in Creole, Cuban or Caribbean, you can add some elements of jazz. Of course you can do it. 